Hello, it is day 10 of our 12 days of crochetness. So let's open box 10 and see what we're making today. There's just two left after today. So he is kind of long and flat. So the hint for today was that this animal runs on its hind legs to get a burst of speed. And it looks like we're making a little frill neck lizard. Remember to post photos of your finished creatures to the Complicated Nuts Discord or on Instagram using the tag hashtag 12 days of crochet to begin with a chance to receive a digital copy of all 12 written patterns. Let's get into it. Okay, so to make our lizard, you're going to need eight ply, 100% acrylic yarn in one color. You will also need a little bit of white to add some details to his eyes. You will also need a pair of nine millimeter safety eyes, your 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, some stuffing, and I do recommend a stitch marker. So to start our little lizard, we're going to make his legs. Now, these legs could have been made as we built him up, but I found it simplified his pattern significantly to just make them separately and attach them as we go. So we're going to start by chaining seven. Like so. And then take your stitch marker and mark the third chain from your hook. If you don't have fancy little paperclip ones like this, I found a bobby pin works as well. We're then going to turn and slip stitch into the second chain from our hook and then slip stitch into our marked stitch. So that's his first toe. We're going to chain two, turn and once again slip stitch into the second chain from our hook and slip stitch into our marked stitch. Then chain two for a final time, turn and slip stitch into the second chain from our hook and slip stitch into our marked stitch. At this point we can remove our marker. So there are his three toes and then we are going to work along the rest of our base chain putting a slip stitch into each of those four remaining chains. And finish off. So there is our first little gecko -y leg and we're going to need three more just like it. So we can pop those off to one side for now. So now working in the same orange, we're going to start our lizard with a magic ring of six. We're then going to work two repeats of a single crochet, an increase, and then a single crochet. So that's our first repeat. We're going to do that again. That should bring us up to eight stitches around. We're then going to work two repeats of two single crochet, an increase, and then a single crochet to get us up to 10 stitches around. So there we are at the end of round three, and round four is just 10 single crochet around. Like so. So in row five, we start by working three single crochet, and then three single crochet all into the same stitch. Then three single crochet again. And then three single crochet into the same stitch. Then finishing the round with two single crochet to get us back to our starting point. So row six, we start with a single crochet. And then we're going to work 12 back post single crochet. So when we crochet, we normally work through the loops at the top of the stitch, but the stitch also has a post. And when we back post stitch, we insert our hook from the back of the piece around that post and then back to the back of the piece, yarn over and pull up a loop around the post and then yarn over and complete our single crochet. So there's my first one. We're going to do 11 more of those around. Finishing with a single crochet. So if you look closely at your work, what you'll be able to see is those back post stitches have left us with pairs of loops around the work that we haven't used. And we're going to use those to build the frill up later. For now, we're gonna stop and insert our eyes. So where we've got those two single crochet that leave a gap in those back post stitching, that is the top of our head. Then we're gonna insert our eyes into row three on the sides of the head as far apart as possible. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. And snap your backs on. So then we're gonna head into row seven. So row seven starts with a single crochet then a decrease. And then we're going to single crochet three together. So that's just basically an extended decrease and I do an invisible variant. So I insert my hook through the front loops of the next three stitches. 
yarn over and pull up a loop through all three, then yarn over and finish my stitch. We're then going to work three increases. Another single crochet three together. And a decrease to finish the round. So we're going to work one more row and then we're going to attach our first legs. So row eight starts with a decrease, then three single crochet, three increases, and then three single crochet back to the start of our row. So that there is the head and neck of our lizard. So row nine starts with a decrease and then two single crochet down to where we want the leg to be attached. We're then going to grab just any of our legs and you'll see we have two knots on one end of it. So we've got our starting point and our finishing point. We're just going to insert our hook through the little rung of the ladder that exists between those knots and then into the body of the lizard and yarn over, pull up a loop and work a single crochet to attach that leg. We're then going to work four single crochet across the underside of the lizard to get to where we want the second leg to be. Grab any of our legs. Once again, identify that little rung, insert our hook, and then insert our hook into the body of the lizard as well. And work a single crochet to attach our second leg. We're then just going to work three single crochet to get back to our starting point. So I think it should be fairly obvious that these are not load bearing legs, but between his frill and uh, his tail, he will actually stay fairly upright once those are attached. So you can go ahead now and work up the next four rows, which are 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so then in row 14, we're going to be attaching his back legs. So we are going to just grab any one of his legs. Once again, insert our hook between those two knots and then into the next stitch of the body and work a single crochet to attach it. Then work three single crochet along the top of the back Grab your final leg and work a single crochet to attach it as well. And finish off that row by working three single crochet around. So there we are at the end of row 14. At this point, we're going to stop and just stuff a little bit of stuffing down into him. He's only a very narrow creature. So, and then you don't need to worry about stuffing the rest of the tail. And then we're going to continue on and just work up the next six rows down to the point of his tail. And finish off. So we do have a little bit of an opening left at the base there. We're just going to take our remaining yarn and pull it through the front loops of the remaining six stitches of our round. And pull it tight to close. Tuck that end away inside the body. Now, if you have any loose strands poking out of your lizard from where we attach the legs, you can tuck those inside now too. And what we have there is a pretty serviceable little gecko, right? But we're not done yet. So at this point, I'm going to take some white and just add the whites of his eyes now, just because if we do it at the end, we'll have to navigate around his frill, which can make it a little bit harder. So then I'm just going to grab my orange and then attach it to my hook using a slip knot. And with our lizard facing us, we're going to find that first pair of loops that were left free by row six. Then insert our hook through them, and do a little slip stitch to join our yarn, and chain one. Now you could also just do a standing single crochet there, that's normally what I do, but I, I do feel like this is more accessible for more people. So in that first pair of loops, we're going to work an increase. So just work over the top of that chain you just did, and then a single crochet, and then we're going to repeat that stitch pairing two more times. So. which should get you to the mid underside of his chin. Then we're going to work three repeats of a single crochet and an increase. So it's basically the, the mirror image of the stitches we were just doing. There we go, that's our last increase. So that's the start of his frill. Now you can stop at any point during this frill and say, my frill is big enough, I've had enough, but we are going to go for two more rows. So chain one and turn your work so you're working back into the stitches we've just done. This time we're going to work three repeats of an increase and then two single crochet and then three repeats of two single crochet and an increase. So 
So that's round two of his frill. Chain one and turn for the final round. It's three repeats of an increase and then three single crochet. And then three repeats of three single crochet and an increase. And finish off. Leave a little bit of a tail so that we can hide it more easily. So then I'm just going to weave this end down the edge of the frill until it's against the head and tuck both of those ends away. Okay, I'm gonna level with you guys. I didn't quite nail the positioning of those eyes, but it's pretty close. So there is our little frill neck lizard. So that's it for today. I hope you had fun making him with me. So your hint for day 11 is Australians do not ride these. Right, leave your guesses in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.